Here we are doing some continuity action. We're determining if a function is continuous at a given point. I got two of them. We're going to discuss this. Looking at this graph of this function right here, okay, that is the graph of this, and we're asked to, to say yes or no to whether x equals 3 is a continuous, if the graph is continuous at this point right here. When you do this, some calculators will actually put in a little line going down through here. Don't draw this dotted line. That is actually not part of it. This is called a vertical asymptote. A-S-Y-M-P-T-O-T-E. A vertical asymptote. And what that is, it's a fence that this these blue lines can never cross, never even touch can never touch it. So this is clearly um, what type of discontinuity? Well, that would be infinite discontinuity. This is infinite discontinuity right here at x equals negative 3. So this answer is no. Now, look at what happens. Here's the reason why. If we evaluate this function at this point, in other words, if I substitute, let's do it in some weird color like green, if I substitute um, negative 3 into this function, I think you can see what's going to happen here on the bottom. It doesn't really matter what happens on top. It's negative 8, but on the bottom you get negative 3 plus 3 is 0. That makes this undefined. So this graph is undefined at the point x equals 3. So it is not continuous at this point. In other words, this point does not exist. It does not exist. If you're using something like a TI-84 and you hit the trace button, go ahead and try that. If you hit the trace button and type in negative 3, I'm going to pause the video and discuss this with you, but you will see that it says where x equals negative 3, y equals, and then it just puts a blank in there. Like, that's so weird. It doesn't come up with anything. That's because that point is undefined. Because what it did was it stuck in negative 3 in for this x and got 0 on the bottom, and it's programmed to stop. Okay, this is not continuous. That would definitely be a no. All right, so we're going to draw a picture real fast. I meant to do this, but I already started, so that's okay. And it would come up for and look something like that right there. Okay, so that'll go off to the left and up forever on each side. It wants to know, is this thing continuous at x, remember this is the x-axis, equals 1. So at this point, does f of 1 exist? See here, f of negative 3 does not exist. It's part of the continuity test. This one, it does exist. It will be somewhere right in here somewhere. And my graph is not to scale, but you could plug that in there. In fact, we'll go ahead and do it real fast. F of 1 would equal 2 times 1 squared plus 4, just to demonstrate how simple this is. 1 squared is 1 plus 4, so that's 2 plus 4, which equals 6. So f of 1 equals 6. That means if that happens, it's continuous, automatic. Automatically continuous. This thing does not have a hole in it. It doesn't have uh, jump discontinuity or any weird things like that. So this answer would be yes. Okay, so two examples. One that isn't continuous on the left side, one that is continuous on the right side. Have a good one.